Our agenda for today is short introduction about Origin GPS and the 4600 model. After that, we will talk about the concept of RTK and PPK, and then we will go to the demo. So please collect the questions during the webinar, and then uh, in the final part, we will have the question and answer session. So about Origin GPS, we are developing and manufacture of the smallest GNSS and IoT products. This is our speciality as company. Uh, if we will talk about the flow of the company, we started from 2006 and we developed a few models, uh, also GPS, also GNSS. And you can see that the last updated technology is the L1 and L5 uh, models, the 4600 series. And during the years of the company, we have a few patents that you will see later. So the portfolio of the company is making uh, GNSS models and GPS models, some of them with antenna, some of them without antenna. So this is the Ornet and Spider. And another part is the IoT. We have a complete system from cellular IoT. And we also can make end-to-end -end products for our clients. You can see here a smart uh, lock for containers uh, as example. If we are looking about the GNSS models, you can see a wide range of models, some of them GPS only, some of them GNSS from a family of MediaTek or Qualcomm. And if you want to choose your own antenna and uh, reduce the size of the product, so you can work with the Spider series. And here we have also the 4600 that we will talk today. Our market is everywhere. Uh, all the models are used in all these fields. Uh, we have uh, uh, various clients worldwide in all countries and in all type of market. And this is the patents that we have today. Uh, we can tell you that we were the first company uh, to build the GNSS models with antenna. And then we developed a few more patents and uh, unique systems. So now let's start talk about the webinar today. So uh, I will make a short presentation about the 4600 and then we will move to the RTK solution. So if we are talking about the model, uh, the special thing in it, it's some one meter accuracy in standalone. Means without any RTK solution, if you will plug a power supply to the model, so you will get sub meter accuracy and a stable accuracy, it's important part. Uh, you can see here how much dense the model, the size is 10 by 10 and contains MCU and Broadcom chipset. It supports uh, L1 and L5 bands, a complete GNSS solution. If we will talk about a comparison that we made for, uh, versus competitor, so you can see on the left side uh, our model, on the right side a, mo a different model from competitor based on the same chipset of Broadcom. So you can see that during 24 hours test, a static test in open sky conditions, we are getting a 10 centimeter accuracy during 100% of the time instead of uh, other side that it's one meter accuracy during almost 40% of the time. You can see that we have the same conditions in terms of RF and this is our speciality as company to give high performance and stable performance. Another comparison with different, uh, different competitor is using a patch antenna, a passive antenna, and you can see that we get higher uh, SNRs than our competitor with the same use case of passive antenna. 
if we will talk about another uh, static test during uh, walking so you can see that the six sigma accuracy means almost 100 percent accuracy is 1.9 meters and the test here was making the same path again and again and then we make a zoom in on the biggest error and we calculate what is the big, uh, biggest error and this means the six sigma accuracy another slide is about a comparison per specifications of our models against both of the competitors so our biggest advantage is the high accuracy during uh, a lot of time if you are taking few fixed points and we will be more accurate the sensitivity of the model the low power and uh, the idea that we have mcu inside means we can make feature per request of the clients if you want to evaluate our models so you can choose the gnss on a stick as a small solution or evaluation board uh, we sell them both So now let's start talk about the RTK and PPK concept. Uh, now I will move to more technical details. Uh, so I will try to, to be focused and uh, short as possible. Uh, if you will be confused during the presentation, so please collect the questions and I will answer them. So why do we need RTK? and uh, what is the goal uh, this is a basic question uh, and we can answer it by this slide if we are talking about gnss uh, we have three type of scenarios a b and c so if we will collect the fixed points so they can we they can be uh, not precise and for example if this is the uh, correct position so the uh, fixed points can jump around another uh, point is about the precise for example i have this type of points but they are not accurate so if you will ask what engineer wants from gnss and especially from rtk you will answer i want a c solution that it will be precise and accurate but in the reality, we have two scenarios that you have a precise and more accurate solution. So if it, this is the real uh, position of the product, so here solution B will win because he is telling you the accurate position even if it's not precise enough. So if we will uh, go and zoom in to GPS B and look over this picture so we can see that the RTK goal is making a centimeter accuracy for example if this is the accurate position of the product we have here a radius of error that we want to be a centimeter accuracy if it's RTK it talks about one centimeter until 10 centimeters something like this important uh, to know that it's not 100 percent accuracy for example you can get a fixed position even in rtk solution that's outside the radius of 10 centimeters so now let's talk more about the rtk uh, we have three type of rtk solutions called rtk rtk ppp and ppp the difference between them starts from which type of base station do I use. If the base station is 10 kilometers from uh, my solution, from my product, so it will be RTK. If uh, the base station is something like 1000 kilometers from the product, so it will be PPP. And some um, between them, it will be both of them. The accuracy in this case will be different too. You can see that RTK solution will be one centimeter, 
while PPP solution will be 10 centimeters. And it's a trade-off. If you are working with a base station that near to the product, it means that uh, you cannot place a lot of products worldwide. And it means that you should uh, use more base stations. On the other side, if you are using PPP, so you will not be accurate as one centimeter, but you can place more products in the same area. If we are talking about the corrections that we can get from its solution, so you can see here the errors that we are, uh, for example, if we are looking about LTK, so the corrections from the base station will give us the satellite clock error and all other errors that we can find here, while the PPP don't give us the unosphere and troposphere corrections. So how does it work in terms of the connectivity? We have the satellites, of the GPS and GNSS satellites. They are sending, transmitting their information to the Earth. And we have a reference uh, product, for example, GNSS product, that getting the signals and calculating the position and then transmitting it to internet or satellite or to communication via cellular or Bluetooth Wi-Fi. So here we get the correction and more information about the satellites. And here we have the client side, for example, a product using the 4600. So I will get a, a satellite information inside the model that sitting inside the car together with the corrections from my connectivity that will be over here. It can be internet, cellular connectivity, or satellite information. So if it sounds easy, we should think about the engineering part. Uh, this process involves latency, means you cannot be in a real time kinematic. It's a problem that involved from the latency of the transmission of the correction, so I should be aware about it. There is the cost, a base station, a good base station and good service uh, is a cost. You should pay about the service. The algorithms that involved here and the software that you should develop here to manage all this is in terms of real-time embedded because you should use inside the car uh, something like MCU, microcontroller, FPGA or CPLD in order to make all the algorithms and all the solution that we talked about. There are scenarios if you are a car, if you are a person, if you are a drone. So each case should be different base station, different algorithm. And in the end, you should find also the service. All of this is something that in Origin GPS we can take care of. This is our speciality that we can guide our clients and give them the knowledge. So now let's talk about the PPK solution, means the post-processing. If we talk about the RTK, it means that we want that everything will be inside the rover, means the product. The product will contain the MCU, for example, and the 4600, and you will apply it the correction and make the solution of centimeter accuracy, means RTK. Another option is collecting the information. For example, inside the rover, you have a GNSS model, and you will collect the information, store it, and then send it to the PC. So in this case, you can uh, process uh, the solution in a better way because you have a recorded logs and you can work with few base stations and then see what is the best solution for you, what will be the most accurate and what will be the best scenario for you. So it's like a trade-off, 
if you don't want a real time, you can go with this solution and get a centimeter accuracy. It saves you uh, the problem of latency and you can make it over a PC and cloud or Android application, uh, Apple application, etc. You don't need the embedded in this case in terms of the RTK solution. You just need to make a software developer that will handle all this process. And maybe you can also use a free service of base station instead of paying for uh, services. Okay, so we finished with the concept of RTK and PPK. And now I will move forward to the demo. So before starting the demo, I want to show you the final solution. You can see it inside this picture. So here we have the satellites coming from the uh, GNSS model from the 4600. And here we have satellites that come in from the base station. In this solution, we are using base station coming from the RTK to go. And this is the specific name of the base station. Here we can see a fixed position the uh, values of this position. And here you can see that the position is in one millimeter accuracy in terms of precise and accurate position. Now I will start my demo. I will connect. We have a PC on our roof and it's already working with the RTK solution. So you can see here this is the rover, means the uh, 4600 model. This is the satellites that we can see now. And the satellites in paint, in a color, it means that the solution of the RTK is using those satellites from the model. And it uses those satellites from the base station. So if I will stop, uh, the solution. I will go over the, for example, the configuration. You can see here that I have the 4600. I am connecting the bow rate and all this uh, information from the UART. And I am connecting to this base station. For example, here we have a few base stations. And the one that we will talk about will be ID 6 and ID 24 that you will see if I change the base station that I'm working with, so I will not get a solution because the solution of RTK or PPK is working on both signals and the information that I get from the model and from the uh, service of the base station. So now I will start it again. You can see that it's calculating and it's made already a fixed point. You can see it over here, that we have a position that doesn't jump. If I want to see what is the information here, so I will click here, we'll go over here, and now I can see the information that I get from my GNSS model from the 4600. So I can see here NMEA information together with uh, the raw data. And if I will look about the base station, so you can see that I get RTCM corrections, that this is the format. So now let's change something. Let's go to different service of base station. And now we will see that the fixed position, we, we don't get the fixed position, it's always jumping, and we can see it over here too. For example, I will make a zoom out. So this is a small change of a base station, but it's making a complete different solution. Why does it happen? So we should start to debug it and to understand it. And after the debug, you can see 
that if we will look about the input of the base station, so we get less information from the satellites. It means not enough information that we can take the gene assessed information together with the base station and make a good solution of particle. So this is the reason. If I will change back to the previous base station, so we will see that we also uh, we don't get this issue and it starts to work correctly. Okay, jumping and stopped. We can see here that the position is fixed and not jumping. Since it's a static test, so uh, this is uh, the point that not jumping. And there are a lot of configurations here that we can change uh, in terms of the scenario. If you are a car, if you are a drone, if you are a person. So all these algorithms are different for each type of scenario. And we as Origin GPS can guide you uh, for each specific application. Another example that I can show you, if I will change the solution, for example, I will work with this solution and try to get a fixed position with the same base station. So you can see that the position started to jump and I don't get accurate position in jumping. Why? Because the algorithm now is not good enough for the scenario. If I'm a static uh, application, so it means that the algorithm should be different. So you can see it over here. If I will move back to the static solution, so you can see that the position get a lock. Okay? Four points and I get a, a fixed position. So this type of demo is a, a source code that we give to our clients and also there is a, a, the software part that you can implement. So if you are making for example here the solution in terms of PC, you can copy paste the code from here to your embedded system, for example, and see FPGA and Satra. So now let's move back to the presentation. The setup was 4600 connected to the PC by UART connection. And we work with the RTK Navi tool. And then we got a centimeter accuracy. The other part of the setup was the internet connection and the base station that we received the correction from. Another important part is the antenna. So there is antenna for each type, also in the base station and also for the 4600. And the antenna consideration is important part and also we give the instructions for it. In terms of software, so you can see here an example. Example from uh, the source code that we give to the clients and together with our uh, software manual you will give uh, the best uh, knowledge and information how to make your own RTK. If we are talking about the setup in our lab, so it will look like this. We have LNA, splitter and gene assessed models. We can make a lot of comparisons with competitors or for products of clients, and we can change the setup to be also with filter only instead of LNA. Also in general, as a company, our top priority is client service and technical support in terms of all aspects of the product, if it's hardware, software, and so on. Thank you for watching the webinar.